I'm your host, Unati Gobini. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about a relationship, precisely marriage. I do have a lady in studio with me today. Her name is uh, Sis Wusi. Sis Wusi, welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you today? I'm well. Under the circumstances. You're good? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> okay. Please introduce yourself for me. Um, I come along with Wusi Siwe, Obose by marriage. Yeah, um, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a social worker by profession, and yeah, I'm glad to be here. Oh, wow, okay, social worker by profession. We're going to touch on that, but not now. So you are married, and uh, today's episode, we're talking about marriage. Oh, yes. Uh, um, from what I understand, you got married very young. So do you want to tell me more about that? Yeah, I was 21 years, going to 22 years when I... Realized, Guti, I might be getting married. <laughs> you realized you were not sure. I was not sure, but yes, I was married. Yeah. Okay. And how was that experience for you? Frightening, scary. It's a new thing, especially when you come from a background where, where most of women were not married, and marriage became like a new thing, basically where you have to fend for yourself, you have to learn from the A, B, Cs to the, to the Zs. There is almost no one, family-wise, to rely on in terms of the basic marriage principles, oh, the okay. hows and the mm. do's and the mm. don'ts of marriage. You have to swim with the sharks, if I may put it. <laughs> Didn't you have a, a mother-in-law or sister-in-law? Well, my in-laws are far. Um, my husband is from Port Elizabeth. So, and we didn't spend enough time, the Makoti introduction, Ooh. we didn't spend enough time for me to really get to know them, really get to learn the A's and the B's of the Kosa traditions and, and how you are not the Makoti is expected to behave. That's <laughs> right, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, Zangi Sigwoti, I should take you back home, Sigwoti, I'm not in Jiku. Oh, I'm not in Jiku. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not in Jiku. Okay, no, we're going to take you back. I'm going to call them and tell them, you need Utsiki Sizuki Gama, so that you can fit in, in my culture. I do have a name. I was named. Oh, what? Oh, what? And then you need it. I'm not in Jiku. Ah, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, sis, uh, How did you meet your husband? I met my husband on a Sunday morning when I was going to church. I was going to church, uh, right at the corner of my street, there was a mechanic. He was fixing his car there. And in the next corner, opposite corner, there was a tech shop. And then he decided when he saw me, he's going to buy Cadbury's and share them with me. Wow, okay. Yeah. So the relationship started with Cadbury's. Cadbury's, yeah. <laughs> I see, yes. Okay, so I understand that you do have kids in your marriage. Um, I have. How does that? Get when you got married, it was just you and him with no in-laws and in what? So now you've got kids you're staying with. How is that? I miss you, Lala. You can sell them, it's fine. <laughs> so I have three children. I have two boys and one girl, my last one. We were just the two of us, and then the next thing we found ourselves with a baby. And an, an, an unexpected, yes, unplanned, yes. How do you prepare as a married woman? Like, do you plan to have kids, or they just... It, 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 it also, it, it's an individualistic uh, perception for me. Some people are born with these dreams of having a big family and a hundred children. Some women just don't want kids. They just want their dependency, their freedom. So we are on mood. Okay, so, you personally. Mila, personally, I did not dream about getting married. I did not dream about having children. I just wanted to get educated and fly and see the world. Mm, shame. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. That's all. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. But that at was... least now you, you, your kids are old enough, you can do your traveling with your husband. Now you just have a... a... Yeah. A I traveling partner. Now we, we need to sit down and draw our traveling plans now. Where do we start? Oh, okay. Mm, let's go back a little bit. I'm going to put you on the spot because... Just because. Okay. So you got married. You had to move in with your in-laws even though you didn't stay long with them. How was yeah. that? Like from Cal your mom and dad to have someone else? Oh, that was trauma. <laughs> it was a, a, a shock, a very deep 
culture shock. You two are right? Um, actually mixed Zulu and Swati. Jazz? Okay. So, uh, and then I'm you mixer, got married to a And then cross. I got married to a crosses. And then you go into another woman's house, new rules, new protocols. New culture? New culture, new, uh, extremely new ways of doing things, even from the cooking to the cleaning. It's another woman's house. You know, when you clean your house, you know good you start from the bedroom to the front. So when you clean your mother in laws you need to ask Ugu to how do you actually how do you do things? When do we cook? Four or seven? Eka program or five, I book program or four because Mama Zala is older, she sleeps a, a little bit early. Mm -hmm. You also need to remember Guti Mina. I come from the free state. I'm used to the Zulu and Sotu culture. And that's a cosa. Strictly cosa culture. Even the cooking, we don't cook the same way. We don't eat most of the same How did you do <laughs> I want to know how to do it the right way. Yes, cross. Yeah, my husband finally taught me how to do it the right way. So, yes, I finally <laughs> learned how to do it the correct Shame, cross. Sorry, uh, the correct cross. The correct cross. I know I'm going to come visit your house so that you can cook for me. No, your stress. Yeah, I want, I want the crosser uh, side, like the crosser vision. I know you can cook some and beans, but I want the crosser vision. Okay. She wants the crosser vision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a different way of making umumusho. Or one across. We'll find out. You will be the judge. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Okay, guys. Um, for now we are going, or I am going to uh, go to the second segment of our show. I am going to ask my guest five questions about me. Are you ready? Five. <laughs> Do, do you need a minute? I'm, I'm ready. Are you let's, sure? Let's do this. Okay. Would you recommend uh, getting married at a younger stage or when you are a little bit older? Personally? No, I need you already got married young. So would you recommend that I, I, I must get married young or oh, I must uh, be older at least? Uh, I'm kind of 50-50 about it. it. It could work out you get married younger, both you and your partner grow up together. Mm -hmm. It also could work negatively in an aspect where you are young, you have not explored enough, lived enough, experienced enough, and marriage can so somehow ground you and, and, and compel you to focus on it. Mm -hmm. That is the difficulty part of getting married younger. But when you are a bit older, I feel you would have explored more, learned more about yourself, your identity, your likes, your, your weaknesses and your strong points, you understand yourself a bit more because you end up finding you, you become a woman, a complete woman in the marriage and your husband is going to struggle to figure who you are because whether you are still in the growing stage, the developing stage of womanhood, mm. fully matured in so he, she, he is expecting a fully matured woman. And at 20, 21 and 29, you are a young adult who's still figuring more about their character, their personality, their life, life, what you want life. to do in life. But if you wait a bit and get married around 29, 30, I believe by that time you should be matured enough to know what and who you are. Because the disadvantage of marrying young also is not knowing the type of husband you want, because you also don't know who you are. Mm, so you just get married because they said let's because get married and then and then that's that's it. you feel good to make a perfect couple can't you? you are still going to evolve because cooler is natural okay. second question do you prefer family time where you spend time with your kids your husband or out with friends that's not fair <laughs> <laughs> that's not a fair question no and yet as a married woman do you wish <laughs> so okay for any person, women or men, any person, you need to strike a balance between the two. Okay. You need quality time with your family. You also need your me time with your girls. So the trick is balance it. Oh, so and the other one must not suffer because... Neither one dealing. must must actually suppress the other one. Okay, noted. And how important is communication in a marriage? Which is... <laughs> <laughs> hey, it is. It is very important. It's important to know your husband's language, to know your, your husband's communication styles, whether it's verbal or non-verbal. 
you need to know and master it. Communication can be there, but utoluguti is misunderstood, misinterpreted. But communicate, yes, but know how the other expect the person is expecting you to communicate, especially your needs and your expectations. They need to be clear. Ukwata mm. does not communicate. Okay, so now we change it a little bit. What does it mean to be one flesh in marriage? To be one flesh? Mm. Oh, when the Bible is specific about the, that one, who the man shall leave his family and cleave to his wife. Being one flesh, it means the two people, a man and a woman, have become one in terms of building their own family. No one is to be able to separate you from your husband. They two have become one. Your lifestyle, your friends, your family, your work, neither of those things should be capable of separating the two you of you. From your so husband. meaning you are you will not find yourself having a life outside your husband. Oh, okay. That's good. Actually that makes a whole lot of sense. Eh? So there's no aspect of your life that your husband shouldn't, shouldn't be, part, be involved in yeah, involved so. if, unless he decides to go to me like, oh, I'm okay. I don't want to be involved in this. Sorry. Okay, so that's where communication comes in because now I'm going to communicate with this is what I'm going to be doing. Are you going to be joining me or not? Yes. And then he chooses. Oh, how do you feel about it? Okay. Last question. Is having a long time with your husband a necessity in marriage? Very. Remember when you got married, it was just the two of you. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you grow up and you have children and you break the connection of me time between you and your partner, you, you, you open a gap. And once the gap is open, it's going to be a distance between catching up the two. So you have to stick to say, even if we have to develop a routine, though in marriage a routine can be boring, but you need to find a way okay. of having some me time together with your now husband. Now I'm putting you on the spot. Because at, at the end of the day, your husband married a girl, a girlfriend, yeah, okay. So there it shouldn't be a time where your husband's girlfriend has disappeared. Now he's constantly dealing with a man. Mm. That's what I was wanting to ask, saying I'm, when I'm saying I'm going to put you on the spot, you and your husband currently. Do you guys schedule dates? Do you go on walks? So how do you keep that spark? Uh, uh, Mila, I don't schedule anything. I'm, I prefer spontaneous. Oh, okay. Yes, so. I prefer spontaneous uh, dates, ice cream. I prefer, let's take the children away for a go to go go and spend the week alone. Once you plan something for me, it's a turn off. Oh, okay. So exactly. who's the romantic one between the two of you? Romantic? Mm. Neither. <laughs> okay. I'm going to teach you how to be <laughs> I'm going to teach you I how to be romantic. <laughs> <laughs> so in closing, yeah. what can you say to us people that are not married yet? Not yet. Mm. Are planning to get married? Hopefully. Hopefully. One day. Well, prepare yourself for the journey because it's not an easy one. And be ready to lose parts of yourself that you will not to be to depart with, but for 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 the greater building of your marriage, for the but greater actually family setup. Mm. Because I can definitely tell you, you are going to lose yourself, but to find yourself as well. Okay, so do wow. you gain more? Depends on how you look at it. If you look at it on a lost side. But if you look at it on a growth and development side, yes, it's a more gain for you. Okay. More of a gain. No, thank you so much. I've learned a lot. Hopefully someone will... <laughs> you never know. We, we hope. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we will pray one day. I'll be a married man. Hopefully. It's a full better step. Anyway. I, I, I mean, I'm getting married very home affairs. No way. I got <laughs> you mean no way? A source. I, okay, never mind. Topic for another day. Anyway, thank you guys for uh, joining me for this uh, insightful conversation with Sis Busi. I learned a lot about marriage, so I am, uh, I don't want to say grateful, but uh, I learned a lot. I'm willing to learn more, so maybe one day you'll come back and sit with us and we'll oh, talk more. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. And guys, till next time, thank you so much.